None of y'all asked for this, but I feel like letting y'all get to know me better today, so I'm gonna give it to you anyway. How I got started in social media. I was just out here teaching, coaching, paying bills, trying to take care of my family. And what a lot of people don't know is I got a degree in communications with the emphasis in film and media that was just lying dormant for 10 years. But in the meantime, in between time, I would make these goofy videos that I would only send to family and friends. And one day, I had the unmitigated gall to post one on the internet. My name is Bob, B-O-B. Guaranteed you wanna be like me. On a Palmer Lemonade Sweet Tea, John Cena, you just can't see me. And it didn't stop there, y'all. Bob had something to say, you hear me? Name is Bob, I'm on the job. My wife said I'm a heartthrob. In my spare time, I like to eat corn on the cob. Don't judge me, y'all. It took time to get to another satisfying racial moment, but it was all a part of the process. But anyway, I posted Bob, and the internet was rocking with him. Snapchat, bring that filter back. Bob had more to say. Bob got like 60,000 views, and that's when I knew that I was more than just family funny, if that makes sense. So I decided to take on this social media thing, and I was going to start a page called Another Satisfying Racial Moment. But I didn't think the world was ready. This was like 2016, 17. I felt like people was going to misjudge what I was trying to say and not really understand me and start making claims that I was... Dang. But I created a faceless page called Church of the World. And that morphed into a page where I did skits with a few of my bros. And we also started doing our own comedy shows. And if you scroll to the beginning of my YouTube or Instagram, you'll see that. But COVID shut all that motion down. So in 2020, I had to get it how I live, by myself. And that's when Big Kim I Am was born. But I didn't pop off right from the jump. Nah, I was struggling. But I had a few hits here and there. But it was February 2022 that ultimately changed everything for your boy when I dropped the very first Another Satisfying Racial Moment video. And the rest is history. 